Today, prep two, what you're going to be doing is using your story plan that you created yesterday to write your own version of the story home. Now, on my screen, you will be able to see that there is the journey home story plan that I have written. And it may look a little bit different to the one that you've got, but that's OK. This is just so that I can make it really clear to explain to you how I have used my plan to create my story. Now, on the screen, you will also see my three creatures that I have chosen. I have got a tiger, a Bengal tiger, a pangolin, which is the one with the little scales all over its body, and the rhino. It's a black rhino. Um, we'll go through step by step the different stages of the story, and I will talk you through how I've done it. And we'll have a look at some of the writing techniques that I've used in my story as well. So here we have the introduction and this is when we introduce the main character and we think about the story setting. Now, my main character is my Bengal tiger. Isn't he handsome? And he is in a forest habitat and his trees are being cut down and there's nowhere to hide and there's no food. So I have started mine by saying the dense forest was disappearing. Where have all my trees gone? He went for a walk and climbed as high as he could. So there we have introduced that setting, haven't we? All the tiger could see were tree stumps. This doesn't look like a good place for me, he decided. So he ran off to find somewhere new. And then this is when we start to introduce the idea that the character is going to travel somewhere. We need to think about where they're going and how, might, how they might get there. He saw a brown wooden cart with wheels. It looked much easier than running the whole way. So I've added a few little adjectives just to add a little bit of description there. Once you've done your introduction and you've thought about introducing your main character and the setting and how the story is going to move through, then you can go on to the next step, which is introducing the next character. So here we have my second animal, my pangolin. And now a pangolin, I did some research, likes to live in similar places to a tiger. Depending on which place in the world they come from, there's a few different types of pangolin. They tend to like being in forests and jungle kind of scenarios. So I thought that it would be a good choice for this story. Now, the pangolin needs to hide from people. A pangolin is a creature that some people think they can use the scales to make medicine. Poor pangolins. So that's why the pangolin is in this story. Soon, he saw a pangolin hiding in some tall grass. What are you doing here? The tiger asked. I am hiding from humans, the pangolin answered. They want to turn my scales into medicine. The tiger told the pangolin to climb into the wooden cart. They would be safer together. Now, in this part of my story, I've introduced my character and their setting and why they need to leave. You'll see that I've used some speech between the two characters. And you can see that by the speech marks that are written around the words that the characters say. I wonder if you can include some speech marks in your work today. OK, I'm now introducing my third animal, the black rhino, hiding in some long grass and poachers want the rhino's horn. So that's why the rhino needs to leave. Next, they discovered a rhino sheltering under some trees in some long grass. She looked tired. I have been trying to escape the poachers, she gasped. They want to steal my horn. The other animals welcomed the rhino into their cart. They headed off in search of a safer place to live. And then we come to the ending of our story. This is when we think about where are they now? Are these animals safe? And what might happen in their future? <clears throat> They travelled far, far away to a landscape where all of the animals could live in peace and without fear. 
I hope one day we can return home, the wide-eyed pangolin whispered. We all do, said the tiger. One day we can return home and humans will treat us more kindly. Until then, let's stay here together. Now that is the ending to my story. And I have tried to think about the story of the journey home to help me with that. So I've used some of those ideas, but there's an element of sadness at the end of that story, but there's still an element of hope as well, that one day these creatures will be able to return to their normal habitats. So when you write your story today, use your plan to help you. That's the reason you've got your plan there. Think about your animals. Use the story from the journey home to help you if you get a bit stuck along the way. Now, I have written my story out. I've copied it into one long story so that you can see how much text I've written. I haven't written a very, really, really long story with pages and pages and pages. The actual story home is a picture book, isn't it? So it doesn't have lots of story written down itself. It tells the stories partly with pictures. So I didn't think we needed to write too much. You can write today as much as you feel is necessary, but don't worry too much if you, have, you can't write too much today. I hope you enjoy reading my story. And I really look forward to seeing what you can come up with with your own stories today. <laughs>